Hello, hello, it's Tash and Rose. Welcome to or welcome back to It's Saturday, your personal self-care pod where you can escape the work week and unwind with your two besties. No matter what day of the week it is, but for us, it's Saturday. <laughs> All right, hey, I'm back. loving this new setup now. I know. I think we're I'm just gonna to we're gonna we're just gonna keep yeah, it because I just want to look at you. I, wanna look at you. Ah! I don't care that the camera's here. I don't and care. It's just more natural. Yeah, so. more natural. I love the way it turned out last time. So honestly, shout out to Fahad yeah. for that advice. He's the one that dropped some advice on us. And guys, if you have any feedback ever, like I'm down for you guys to hit us up with some feedback. We're all ears. We're always trying to improve, get better. So late on us. And he's like, he was a little bit worried to even give me the feedback first. He's like, <laughs> I gotta give you some feedback. Not that you asked for it, but like. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. And I'm like, you know what? I love that because mm-hmm. sometimes people just aren't going to tell you yeah. if, if they have any feedback. They and just won't sure. tell you. So, And if we don't like it, we just won't listen. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just ignore so, you. Yeah. We listen. But tell us. Uh-huh, and we love it. So, Okay. Let's do a little life updates because I feel like even though, guys, normally we record on Wednesdays, but today's actually Monday. So we saw each other only a few days ago, but I still feel like a, a lot has happened. Like we had pretty busy weekends. We had a really busy weekend. Yeah. yeah. So tell me about your Friday night because you ended up at local with oh all God, these games it was super what? random so yeah i had a little bit of the itch come friday because we didn't go out last weekend <laughs> i know you were missed and then um i just like come friday i was like i had a long week i got a lot of work done so i was like you know what i'm gonna go get some beers and then our friend shauna and chris came and then you know people just kept getting added in and it was lo- just that's such a fun time spontaneous I felt like nights every snap i got from you there was like a different <laughs> person <laughs> like joined the group like, oh, i'm like at home man i like no we're gonna stay and i was like <laughs> It's, oh, yeah, it's like it's, local's so close. Should I we know. just go? I'm like, no, no, no. We have, we have plans all weekend. Just take the night in. Yeah, and we got like the table in the back, which, and it was really busy. So Ooh, I was like, oh, this is like a good table to add people because as yes. people were leaving that massive table, we kept adding more <laughs> chairs in. That's so perfect. Um, but we, I didn't even know local had board games. Did you know this? So I remember before COVID, co- um, local would have like Jenga yeah. and there, I think there was another game. I forget what it was, but it was that was the extent of it. But okay, now, now they have like a whole corner of yeah. full of board games. So they had Cards Against Humanity. They had like a bunch of other like little board games. And so Sean's like, let's start, let's play Cards Against Humanity. I'm like, what? Like I didn't yeah. even know Vogel had board games, but that's so it was unreal. really fun. Like, it was really, really fun. You know, yeah. I'm a board game girl. So like when I saw that, they even had like Guess Who. Yeah. They have have so many fun little games. So much fun. I'm super down. Yeah. So that just made the night even better. Um, And then we ended up at somewhere and we didn't stay too long at somewhere, but it was just like a nice, it was just a nice night. It was fun. It was good times. It looked really fun. But then the next day we had uh, (gasps) Tony's indoor pool party. Yes. But before that we had baby girl (gasps) brunch. Oh my gosh. Sorry. We had so much things. Okay. We had a brunch. Yeah. We had a baby girl brunch for Camilla because it's literally the last time we're going to see her without her baby being born. So a bunch of the girls came to her place and we did a little like Pollock style, which is always like the best to do, I feel. It takes, and it like, takes the burden off the host. 100%. So it, you're more likely to want to host because mm-hmm. everyone was just brought something. Exactly. Yeah. Like we bought like stuff to make mimosas. We brought like bacon, hash browns. Ria's um, mother-in-law made a quiche. And guys, so good. don't sleep on quiche. Dude, that quiche so was good. so good. <gasps> it was like, had like spinach and I think like feta or something. Oh and it was God, just, it was, it was so, so good. Anyway, it was just like so wholesome to just like all get together and just like. Just the girls. Just the girls. It was nice without the guys too because we were really asking Camilla so many questions about pregnancy. Yeah. And then at one point she's like, guys, like she has the hiccups and we were like touching <gasps> her belly and like you could feel the baby having hiccups, yeah. which I thought that was so cool. That was crazy. Like there's nothing like feeling a baby like it's move like, around. I don't even, God. can't even imagine what that would feel like when it's you. So crazy. Like, that's so And it's crazy weird. to think when you're pregnant, you're just never really alone. Like you have know, someone with you that. Yeah. at all points, which I think it's is kind of nice. It's nice. It's just like, between your buddy yeah. and baby buddy. Just baby buddy. So yeah, she's due like any minute now. We were looking at her hospital hospital bag we like went upstairs yeah. and she's showing us her nursery oh my god she's it's all set. so cute so cute it's so nice having a best friend do all this first because i feel so much more ready already just because she's doing it first i'm like I'm all like, the oh, 
little things she bought i'm like this I didn't is even insane know that some of these things existed no like not. i didn't know that you had to like that babies can't make sense now but i didn't know a baby can't pull its nose when it has boogers you have to like take it out for them <laughs> yeah it's so, it's crazy. so weird i know it's so weird i, I can't believe she's having like a baby it's still like, mind-blowing could be right now she's being labor right now i'm like we're still babies <laughs> like, are we babies i know <laughs> i feel like a baby i know so oh my god so that was fun and then at night we went to tony's house he has an indoor pool which i've never been to obviously you've been there before yeah, but it's a sweet spot like what did you think cool guys yeah. i i was like if it was like a community center size it, pool it's, but it's indoors pretty big it's yeah massive and the cool thing is like the neighborhood it's like it's a night it's a nice neighborhood but it's not like it's not a bougie neighborhood it's like a modest like yeah. nice neighborhood you wouldn't think that these houses could potentially have an indoor pool it's which just, just like, actually so makes hidden. it even more cooler yeah no that was so really fun. fun a bunch of the homies came over we had some drinks we played some games in the pool it was really nice it was so Just fun and then what did you do yesterday i feel like you did you had oh we went to a barbecue too. okay oh. we went to taryn's dad's place for a barbecue oh that's so nice yeah his dad like smoked a bunch of stuff we had like jerk chicken i tried like oxtail for the first <gasps> time which is so good i love oxtail but i accidentally took the spicy jerk chicken instead of the like less spicy one and oh my god like it was really are they jamaican um i think so i think he's half jamaican okay okay. yeah so he just like he smoked all these things for us like the vibes are really cool it was like they had like a sunroom so it's like we were outside but we weren't because the weather wasn't too great but yeah it was one of those things too like people just kept coming like adding like hannah and carlo Mm. rolled up like oh my god i actually have to tell you this funny story though while we were there like we got this like (laughs) hannah had this really cool picture the one i sent in the group chat where she just looked like super cool like in the tub like when we're all at the wedding together and then she asked i went to airdrop it to myself and someone else came up as nana and we we're like oh i think it's like nana like taryn's like stepmom's like mom so kind of like his grandma like who's really cool we're like yo let's send nana the picture we send the picture to nana and we're like looking at her and she like doesn't react meanwhile some other guy whose name was actually nana was like yo who just sent me this picture and i'm like <laughs> oh my god i'm so sorry i did not mean to send you that photo oh my god that's so funny but yeah it was a little, a little embarrassing but now he's a keepsake of hannah forever that reminds me of the this time we went out and and it was with some newer people and we took a, a couple group shots and she's like send me the pictures so she went on my phone to send it to herself but I guess she miswrote her um number oh, no. and so we sent it to some random person like a <laughs> bunch of group photos and then oh, they responded God. being like I don't know who any of these people are in the photo but like great photo <laughs> <laughs> but looking good i want to get to know you I'm like oh my god this is so awkward that's Sorry. hilarious oh my god i love that yeah, so that's funny um okay and then another thing that randomly happened was i was on a walk last week i think it was like uh, after we recorded the pod it was like thursday or something yeah. and lucky girl syndrome we like come across this like it was like a retro i still have to show you it's oh like gosh, a retro yeah. like um kind of like a stairmaster slash elliptical co- I'm combination so curious and we were on a walk and someone <clears throat> had just left it on the side of the roads like writing free like if you want to take it so me and friends are like let's run home and see if we can bring <laughs> this thing home but we run. don't have a truck so yeah oh my gosh yeah we literally just like he brought a bunch of his tools we were willing to like carry this thing home if we needed to because it was like literally yeah. down the street and farzad was able to like disassemble it Shout out to Farz- what can't this man do <laughs> so we put it in the in our trunk but the trunk did not close thank god it was just down the street oh so my gosh. we just drove probably like hilarious. 20 kilometers an hour and i'm in the back just <laughs> holding everything so it doesn't like fly out oh my god but more the story we got the stairmaster thing and it works and yeah i have yet to use it but okay yeah. i need to use it before i leave today i know literally we'll go down to you that's after. so sick yeah lucky girl syndrome lucky man. girl syndrome so. oh my gosh i love that that's funny. um i had my hydrofacial <gasps> tell me about it i love this experience so much okay explain what a hydrofacial is okay so there's like three steps to it there's like the cleansing the exfoliating and then like the moisturizing okay so she like First of all, I just cleanse my face, like put these different things on it to get it like nice and clean already. I obviously showed up like without any makeup on. I'd already washed my face, but she still like just cleansed it a bit more, like gave me a like, little face massage and everything. It felt Ugh. so good. And then um, then my favorite part was the extraction because she has this little like vacuum machine that she puts all over your face and like sucks out like little whiteheads or blackheads or like any like dirt that's under your skin. And then at the end, you see like all the stuff that like she took out of your skin. Um, <clears throat> cool. And then... At one point, she even had this like light therapy thing over me okay. and it was so bright though. And I don't know if it's because I have blue eyes or I'm just like normally really sensitive to light. Like I, 
like I can't be in like bright light. I need to have sunglasses on. Like it just really bothers my eyes. So I had the goggles on, but it was still really, really bright. And I was like really doing my best to like not let it bother me. And then after like five minutes or so, I'm like, how much time is left for this part? Like, I'm just curious. She's like, oh, like seven minutes. I'm like, seven minutes. I'm like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't know if I can do it for that long. Cause like my eyes are really sensitive. And she like was able to put like gauze over my eye and then put the goggles over. So it helped with the light a bit, Sorry. but it's really good for like fine lines and just like healing your skin of any like markings like light therapy apparently is like really good new thing and then after that she just hydrated it put a bunch of stuff on it to like make it plump and glowing it was about an hour it was 150 dollars i felt like it was worth it and the thing is too is it's like relaxing you're just laying there i almost fell asleep someone playing with your face like i love that it's so nice like i do that for matt all the time like i'll like play with his face a little bit but i never really have anyone do it to mine and i'm like i don't know why because it was so so nice. nice yeah uh, yeah okay so definitely need to do some ha- i love facials i've only gotten a couple i've never I had love- one before yeah, so nice oh my gosh like why i feel like that should be part of our benefits like it's like a self-care self-wellness i should get like 500 dollars a year to get facials 100 uh, <laughs> like if 100%. you can massage my back why can't i get someone to massage, massage my face, my face. That's yeah, right. You're right. You're so right. Oh yeah. my gosh. Anyway, I'll definitely be going back to her and I'm actually going to see her on Wednesday to do laser on my armpits. Okay, you said that and I need to get her information because yeah. I need to do that too. Laser on your armpits. I'm I'm, I'm over the armpit hair. I'm I'm over it too. Why am I still shaving my armpits? It's 2023. I'm 31 years old. I should not be shaving my armpits. Oh, if I had like unlimited money, I'd just like laser my whole body. <laughs> From my eyebrows down. I would yeah. laser my entire laser. body. <laughs> Yeah, like the Kardashians, uh, they definitely have everything Oh, for sure. And, yeah. Okay, and last thing for updates, I just got excited last weekend when it was nice. And even this weekend, I was able to do a little bit of like gardening, just getting like our gardens like ready. I could put some new soil in and like got it all ready. And I don't know, I know you're excited for gardening. Oh, yeah. And I just... I'm just so happy to be able to soon go to like our garden and get fruits and veggies again. I'm just so excited because it's just like our backyard thrives in the winter in the summer oh, you have a beautiful and yours too but it's just nice to then have an extension of your house that you mm-hmm. get to like go hang out in yes and yeah i'm really really excited do you it's... eat dinner outside a lot in yeah. the summer yeah. yeah i feel like we're always breakfast eating dinner, outside. dinner like everything. i know everything oh, I'm, so I'm so excited i know gardening guys if you are like new to gardening you're like what should i plant I would start with lettuce because lettuce is so easy. It's my favorite thing. It's so easy. It grows back. Tomatoes are a little overwhelming. I will Mm. tell you that because A, they like grow really tall and they can fall, break. And if you aren't like constantly checking on them, they can actually not turn like red. They can turn just just stay stay green. So you have to, they're a little finicky. Um, what else? Did you do I bell like, peppers? We did it's like spicy peppers. Okay, yes. spicy peppers are good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I also really like doing beans and peas. Oh, I've never done that. Yeah, beans were really good. Okay, beans were awesome. We like know. got those from like this, like from seedlings, and like it turned out really, really yeah. good. And then herbs are always my go-to oh, too, yeah. because then basil, like basil and like rosemary. mint and rose. Mint, you have to be careful because it spreads. Same with like um, strawberries. So you want to contain it, otherwise mm-hmm. it will like, spread It'll take everywhere. Over. Yeah, but. Yeah. Yeah, those are good starting plant like vegetables and stuff. If you're like new to this and you're like, I don't know where to start. Yeah, because it's definitely overwhelming a little bit. Yeah. Um, I YouTube a lot of videos. Like last year and sent you a lot of texts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Okay, should we finally talk about the wedding we went to? Yes, I feel okay. like it's been forever. It now. has. So let's talk about this so, wedding and for Reagan and Zamir. Reagan and Zamir is Zamli. Zamli forever. Uh, so Zamir and Reagan Bradley. So together it became Zamli was like their hashtag mm-hmm. for their wedding. And uh, you were actually a bridesmaid in the I wedding, was which is amazing. To be a bridesmaid, Reagan is one of my oldest friends. I met her literally when she was 18 years old. Oh my God. And I've known her and Zamir like separately. Like I was friends with them both before they started dating. So to know them separately and then know them together, I just felt like really invested in this like wedding and their relationship like they're two of my bestest friends so it was magical Aww, so yeah. nice and this is the first destination wedding that i've ever been to um me too yeah, yeah. that's really crazy fun. yeah first destination wedding and who better to have it than reagan and zamir i feel like they Guys, travel the world all the time so they also have so many friends like who else can bring almost a hundred people to a destination wedding they had i feel like more people at their destination <laughs> wedding than we had in our whole <laughs> wedding it was like 86 people or something. Yeah, at it was their close destiny. to 90. 90 uh-huh. people mm-hmm. almost, which is insane. So I've never been to an all-inclusive where I knew that many people. Like every yeah. morning you wake up and see like 
10 to 15 people you knew right off the bat. Yeah, no matter where you went. If you were getting breakfast, if you were going to the gym, if you went to the pool, like there were always people that you knew there, which was really hype. Yeah. It's like, I feel like we own the resort. Yeah, we own the resort. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, And it was the resort we went to was super fun and super nice. Yeah. So fun fact, this is the resort that they filmed the most recent season of Love is Blind. I actually went and just skimmed through Love is Blind because I wanted to see the <laughs> yes. resort and I didn't give a shit about this season. So I was just like literally fast forwarding to just see like the parts of the resort. our room was what like Kwame and like whatever her name is, Chelsea's room. I'm like, that's where we stayed. Like that's so, so cool. Crazy. I never got a floating breakfast though. I no. didn't know that was an option. And we got our own butlers at this resort, which was yeah. insane. So you could like literally text this butler and get all these different <laughs> things and room service 24-7. Which yeah, was got tacos at like 3 a.m. one night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. pizza, burgers, like anything. It was um, insane. Also, like even like the from the beginning, it was so electric to like show up at the airport and then slowly just see person and by person like arrive and then be on a plane with like 30 plus people that you know so fun like, at one point it felt like it was bridesmaids because <laughs> yes it was um, carly was like walking down the aisle and she had had like three or four champagnes and she was like hey guys <laughs> and she was just saying hi to everyone she's like i'm just trying to get another drink i'm like oh my god i love you i love carly she's so cute but yeah that was um i just we just knew so many people and we went to toronto so first we went to ottawa to toronto and when we got to toronto we picked up more people we knew and then getting to cancun airport we were like let's go get margarita right off the bat immediately immediately the biggest margarita we could find it had like six ounces of alcohol yeah it was like also 30 usd i was like yeah but that's because it was like six drinks in one it was it was really good was it was really good i didn't i don't regret it yeah the bus ride there was really fun and then that first night we just had like welcome cocktails where they said hi to everyone Mm -hmm. that was electric and then we had the catamaran the second (gasps) day which was so much fun if you were ever at a destination wedding or you're going somewhere where you are able to get a boat a boat of any kind yeah you need to get it and the bigger the boat obviously the better we had like a massive catamaran that was how many people were on there like all of us right? it was like, like 90 people yeah, on a catamaran it was huge it was a yacht i was like this it was it. basically a yacht and we had our own bartender and we had food like their food options were amazing it was like steak burgers tilapia like whatever you want we got it and it was lit and we had the aux cord we were just playing music at the beginning was funny though because it was it was pretty windy and we're all in the front of the boat and then it's like going up and down like hard and people are like oh my god we are gonna fall off this boat and they were playing pirates of the caribbean yes, music oh my so god I was like, dun, 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 oh yeah dun, dun. because guys it was also a pirate theme so we yes. were all dressed as pirates yes and i have to say shout out to ac because he had the best pirate costume he, he looked like he was born to be a pirate he was jack sparrow like i was like yeah mm, are you like, auditioning right now for the pirates of the caribbean movie? yeah um but we i feel like we killed that theme they had it themes throughout the wedding mm-hmm. but that one was really really fun um yeah, we went to the white party after that oh my gosh and it was such a sick flex reagan and zamir show up to the white party in black it's it's amazing i loved it i loved it too. i don't know why i didn't even think they were gonna do that like i was like duh they're not gonna like, come in white no not. yeah no and their fits were really hot they look great yeah and oh we had gosh. a little pre-drink in my <laughs> hotel room before which was so fun that was you one of my that? favorite nights yeah. like just pre-drinking in your room that yeah was it was so, so fun. fun again it was one of those things where the door kept opening we didn't really even invite anyone but people were just showing up because we all were on like the same floor basically and yeah it was insanely fun oh it was oh yeah it was really fun and um <clears throat> even carlo brought like a spout and we're like why don't we bring a spout <laughs> that's like the, not the first time where i've been in a situation where someone pulled out a spout and i'm like why didn't i bring a spout we like that's this shame. Is, like so on brand for that's, us hello uh, embarrassing um, i just need to keep a spout like on a keychain in my purse oh that's keychain yeah smart smart idea. Idea. <laughs> yeah, okay, that oh my um, gosh and then, oh, another thing that was really cool about their wedding was throughout the week, um, their friend Rayhan. And let me just say this. The group of people that were on this trip were all like high achievers, like really yeah. intelligent. Everyone is like work hard, play hard yeah. to their core. Successful. Super successful. And Rayhan, the best man, actually like 
um, coded like this website where you could place yeah. bets on what you think could happen is going to happen throughout the week. So one of them was like, um, like over under maid of honor speech, 10 minutes. Yeah. Like who's, who's going to be, who's, who's going to catch the bouquet? Yeah. Like, exactly. What color is her dress? What color will the bridesmaids dresses be? Yeah. yeah. Like a bunch of different little bets that you could do. He coded this app for all of us to, to bet on. It was, it was insane. So fun. Yeah. So that was really who fun. Won? Do we know who won? I actually don't know because there was a spa day on the line the thing is that's funny is that we he made all these up and then I don't know who was actually in charge of like making sure they wrote down so for example one of them was like is anyone gonna get proposed to this week yeah and then when we were on the catamaran there was there was a boat beside us and the girl actually got proposed to Mm -hmm. but it was also funny because there was a boat of pirates right beside her and we're like screaming yeah (laughs) she got got proposed to but then it's just like we're all in pirate outfits yeah pictures are gonna just be like a bunch of people in the background wearing pirate gear that's memorable for sure Uh, but we'll see yeah it was really honestly like good on them for getting all that organized we had like a baywatch theme night theme day and you took over like the infinity pool yeah yeah baywatch and then oh my god we even had like a kind of like a catamaran um catamaran a chic cabaret show which was Kind of like a Cirque du Soleil like type a of sexy show. sexy Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, yeah. And we got like a like a five-course dinner. And wow. so honestly, yeah, 10 out of 10 experience. It was really, really fun. I, what do you think? Would you ever do a destination wedding? I feel like there's pros and cons to both. I feel like... Let's talk about pros and cons. So what is a pro of a destination wedding? Unlimited fun. <laughs> I feel like instead of one day of celebration, you get like a full week of celebrating mm-hmm. you guys, which was fun because 100 honestly like the wedding day goes by so quick and then you're like oh my god it's over and then that's it's that's it. so true because the actual wedding day itself flew by like that like it went by extremely fast yeah so you just get to like after that too like you get to enjoy after the wedding and be with people and actually like hang out with them and talk to them versus like everything being rushed into that one yeah day. that's definitely a pro yeah con i mean it's probably well unless you're Regan and Zamir it's hard to rally a lot of people to take time off work to find a spot to like bring everyone across the world and like exactly commit to that it's a big commitment and also if you're like super type a and you want to have everything in control it's a little bit difficult because you're not actually there on on premises to like see it out and like scope it out so you have to make a lot of decisions Mm -hmm. where you're like this could go wrong and you don't know yeah like, until you I, get there i have to say reagan was like the chillest bride yeah. like 100 percent. like there were some things where it's like you know what we're not gonna really know the answer to this until like the morning of and she's like that's fine i was like wow i'm so, so not that tight but like i'm so <laughs> glad you are <laughs> me and kate were like oh my gosh where's the coordinator <laughs> coordinator showed up everything turned out perfect like it was so fine it was like, so good and yeah. the speeches we forgot to talk about this but the speeches of this wedding so, so first oh of all God. the vows were insane regan and zamir killed their vows um zamir like memorized his vows and it was spoken word they were it, it was amazing it was literally spoken word like it rhymed it had so much like meaning and intent and like it blew insane. everyone away yeah yeah. can't wait to see the wedding video because the guy who was making it like makes music videos yeah so, jordan. jordan so apparently matt said he saw like a little tidbit tidbit of it tidbit 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 <laughs> of it and he said it's sick oh so even already god. yeah oh my god i can't it's wait. gonna be insane i can't wait to see and even matt's probably gonna make a video it's gonna be oh it's gonna be so so nice to like yeah. just watch it back another um, maybe a little con of a destination wedding if you do it somewhere hot is that heat exhaustion and sun exhaust exhaustion is real yes like a lot of people got like murked by the sun murked <laughs> myself included like i didn't get a sun burn but i got like completely exhausted from the sun you just yeah. you just don't you just don't know like how intense the sun is really heat stroke is a yeah. real thing and also food poisoning too like it would suck if you like thank god Regan and zamir both were good on the day yeah. of their wedding imagine oh you god. were like had food poisoning on the day of your wedding Dude, just imagine shitting. if that was my wedding i literally because i got food po- i wasn't yes. shitting but i was vomiting the night before the yeah. wedding which is absolutely terrible because i was in the wedding i had to change my makeup time shout out to kate taylor um <laughs> but yeah if that was my wedding i would have been freaking out yeah 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 so that's also a con what else i just feel like um a lot of things can go wrong with a destination wedding oh also the their the day of their wedding was beautiful it was super sunny mm-hmm. two days after it was <gasps> torrential downpour like yes. pouring rain and there was a wedding on that day and we were literally at the beach and i'm like i like kept looking at reagan i'm like 
imagine this was your I'm wedding like, day because it was a pouring rain and they say oh it's good luck i'm like dude that's just shit you say <laughs> no. to make those people feel better it is not good luck that sucks bro <laughs> like i didn't pay all this money for <clears throat> this good luck like, i don't even know what i would do I yeah that's either. another thing like destination if it's outside weather is unpredictable weather is just yeah even here we were like our venue is all outside yeah seriously and there was a <clears throat> plan b option for if it rained but the plan b option i'm like we did not pay for this plan b <laughs> option we paid for the cliffside view yeah like exactly you know so yeah Thank God that worked so, out yeah glad it worked out oh 100%. my gosh yeah maybe some clear umbrellas would be something you should get yeah you know what i actually saw a tiktok of a wedding where it just fucking poured and they just like embraced it but all their photos turned out really cool and if you have a good makeup artist like your makeup is not like getting fucked up from the rain so you'd be fine yeah. but everyone did have like nice umbrellas too and it actually looked really cool okay personally i don't want that for myself <laughs> hopefully on my wedding day it will be go. clear yeah. skies we're gonna, we're, gonna, but we're gonna manifest that yeah we are it's gonna be good unreal Okay, um, about okay. the wedding. I feel like I think I, that's it for the wedding. I also felt like coming back, we both like a throwback to that week. We just were like so tired and exhausted. So that's another con because you're literally going, going, going for a week. And when we got back, I feel like everyone got a cold. Like was just like super tired. Yes, so. it, it's it took a lot to get, kind of get back into the routine. Okay, enough of the wedding. Let's go into some. I'm sorry, buds. You have one that I completely agree with. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, but cleaning your couch is so freaking annoying i really agree with this especially if you do have a dog and we both have dogs i have we have a dog and but we even put like a blanket on the like ottoman part of our couch that stark likes to lay on and even despite that like you have to wash your couch every so often but we have to like take off all the covers wash them dry them putting on the covers is such an ordeal because they fit so snugly literally we started washing we i started washing we <laughs> Let's not, let's not Let sugarcoat that. anything here. I started washing the couch covers yesterday, and by the time we were done, like washing and drying everything, and like it was too late, and we're like, "Hey, we're just gonna put this on tomorrow." So like today, so this is a two-day fiasco getting our couch together. I will say it looks so good now, but god damn it and when you dry it it's like the, it shrinks so it doesn't bit. it doesn't really fit sometimes mm -hmm. into the you thing. really just stuff it in and like literally some of the couch covers have like a little like curve to it so if you don't put it in exactly the right way it looks so Weird. fucked yeah yeah so i'm like oh it's not the right way take it out and do it again and like this is so hard like uh, I, it's I frustrating i completely agree and like you have to you you don't realize how much stuff gets into your couch because you're just like eating Ew, on there there's yeah. crumbs it's, it's disgusting. just gross it's actually really disgusting I'm like should we just buy a new couch <laughs> <laughs> if i was rich i'm just fine i would just donate this and buy a new couch literally like, i don't have time for this i don't have time <laughs> or hire someone to do it for me <laughs> but i like buying a couch better every like six months just get a new couch it's like when you uh, wash your sheets and like you you're just too lazy to put them back like put your sheets back on and then you go to go to bed and you're like no <laughs> yeah that's a terrible feeling it's like the worst no 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 you gotta put those on yeah Okay, let's do a little social. Yes. So okay. one thing we forgot to mention about the wedding that is that was super fun was there was a silent disco one night. I'm so mad I didn't go to that because I, I was the first night. Oh my night. God, you weren't there. No, I wasn't there. I passed out. It was oh the first God, night. Oh my God, Romina. I know. Have you ever been to a silent disco? No, never. Okay, I've been to one in Greece and then with Regan and Zamir and people and then one at in Mexico when we were there and it's such a vibe so there was actually three live DJs up at the front one was playing like Spanish music one was doing like EDM like house kind of music and then one was doing throwbacks so it was like a whole different vibe no matter what channel cool. you're on so you'd have your headphones on and you'd either be like blue red or green and like the DJ at the front had a color with them so you know like which stream you were listening to and you can't like hear anything else like everyone's just there in silence like jamming and it's fun because like you'll be on one station and then you'll see someone like I'm on red and then I see green like vibing over there. And I'm like, I'm like, yo, what's green listening to right now? And I'll pop over to green and I'm like, this is a vibe. Oh like, this God, is so, so fun. Cool. So, we'd all just so, be like, so you could see like if someone's in blue or someone's in green. Yes, so your headphones would light cool. up like that color. So you would know and you kind of like knew which like DJ was doing what. So you had to 
knew what you're getting into and you're changing it. It's super fun. Uh, oh my gosh, we'll have to go to one. We have one to point. go. I wonder who came up with and it's so smart for them because it was late. It was really late yes, when you guys went. Yeah. And they have like they were pretty strict about music like after a certain mm-hmm. time. So that's such a smart idea for the resort to be like, people still want to party, but like let's keep it quiet. Yeah. <laughs> silent disco, man. Silent disco. Super, super fun. We should have our own little silent disco like I'm sure they house. Do. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That maybe that's like a like a whole business just renting out those things. But they must do them somewhere in Ottawa. There must be like pop up silent discos. I feel like I've seen that where it's like around somewhere. Okay, if you guys know of any silent discos yeah. in we Ottawa, have to ask Maddie Hattie, she let would know. A, yeah, let us know. <laughs> she'd be our girl to she'd ask. Be, she'd be our girl. Okay. Also on TikTok, have you been following Cardi B and her Day in the Life of videos? Okay, I love Cardi B and her TikToks, but I haven't seen these Day in the Life ones. So it just showed up on my FYP, and I'm so glad it did. Her voice is so soothing so and soothing. calming when she talks. She kind of like whispers, and it's like very like ASMR. And she just walks herself, walks us through like a day in her life, and it's so relatable. Like making food for her kids, like going to the gym, but she works out for like a long ass time. Like she works out for like three hours. Three hours? Yeah, she works out for a long time. Just like putting away laundry, just like all these like normal things, but just watching Cardi B do it with her long ass nails. One, I'm like, that's so impressive. Like, how are you making food right now with your nails this long? I don't get it. But yeah, her voice is just 10 out of 10. You have to watch that. How does she like take care of her baby with those long nails? I just, I, how even, do you change a I have a little bit of a nail now and I'm like, I feel like I can't do a lot of things. Oh my God. When you have nails, like sh- the shit that can get under there is disgusting. It's so gross. You have yeah. to wash your hands and just like scrub under. Yeah. I don't know how she does I don't it, know how she but does it. Check out her TikTok. Okay, I need to check her out. I was watching on TikTok the other day and it was talking about how they were um, interviewing Jennifer Lopez and then you just realize how rich she is and she hasn't been to a bank. She was talking about how she hasn't been to a bank in like 20 years. She hasn't walked into a bank. Wow. Or, and then she was saying she hasn't been to a mall since like, she's like, since I had kids, I haven't been to a mall. I mean, She hasn't yeah. been to a mall in like 20 years. I'm well, like, she'd get bombarded. Like uh, she's people, like yeah. personal shopper, stylist, like the mall she's, will come to her. It's just crazy because it's like these normal things like going grocery shopping, going to a mall, yeah, like just, going to a bank. <laughs> she doesn't do like, I have better things. things to do. <laughs> <laughs> but then the entire interview, she's like, but I'm really normal, guys. I'm so normal. Everyone's like, no, you're not. Yeah, maybe she'll buy a mall and then she'll go to that mall. Yeah. Just buy it out. Um, uh, also, last thing for social, have you been seeing like how intense these AI like scams are getting like on phones and shit it's insane what's happening like Like, they're replicating people's voices of their children and they're calling families and imitating their child like crying and screaming saying that they have their child and if they don't transfer them this amount of money they're gonna kill their children dude this is like insane meanwhile their kids upstairs playing with like their barbies thank god they're like wait what i'm pretty sure they're home but if they weren't that's so scary it's it's actually ridiculous what they can do now even just like the videos that ai can make like did you see the one that looked like kanye west was performing (gasps) at coachella i still don't get how that wasn't real could you see like anything in it that looked not real no it looked really real it looked really really real yeah so they can literally make any kind of like show happen now now. whenever i get a phone call i'm like so paranoid i'm like if i don't know who it is no I, i either don't answer or sometimes it's a 613 number and i'm like expecting a call from like the tailors or something yes so i like pick up and i'm very discreet and like what what is this for what is yes. this regarding because otherwise if you are just saying hey how's it going they can just take your yeah. voice and put it or like literally yeah, like similar i had a a a phone call appointment with my bank and they were late calling me. They're supposed to call me at four. I didn't get a call. So I was like, okay, I guess I'm not getting a call. They ended up calling me at 445 and they're right away like, oh, like is Natasha and like say my last name, like, is this you? And I'm like, well, who is this? Like, why are you asking? Like, I'm kind of like a bit standoffish and rude. I'm like, well, why? They're like, oh, it's like RBC calling. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, it's me. But I don't want to, you're not supposed to say like yes or no or whatever you're not because they can yes. manipulate yes. it. Yeah, right? because they can just take that yes mm-hmm. and use it for other things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, I was like really like <laughs> not nice to the banker. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like I was straight up like, there's just so many AI scams going around You know right how now? Like, like when you're know. on the phone with like the bank, they ask you security questions. Now I'm like, there should be security questions. We ask to be like, yeah. is this AI or not? Literally. To, like, ask, 
get them to figure out if this is a person or not. Because On a positive note for AI, though, Matt was showing me this thing where there was this guy and his dog was really sick, brought his dog to the vet. And they were like, basically, like, we don't really know, like, what's wrong with him. But like, we can't really cure it. Like, he's probably going to like die soon. Like, we're so sorry, blah, blah, blah. Oh and he's like, what the heck? So he took like, he got his dog's files, like all the information. He put his information like in the chat GPT being like, hey, like, can you like look at this? Like, what do you think like the illness is or like how, how can we remedy this? And ChatGPT was able to find like something that the vets didn't see because it's just like human eye, like human error versus artificial intelligence. And then they were able to save the dog. What? Isn't that crazy? That's, that's insane. See, like that's a positive. That's a positive. Yeah. Jeez. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Yeah. There's pros and cons to AI. Like for every, I would say for every like pro there's, I don't know. There's probably w- mm. way more pros than cons, I but hope so. I just yeah, people are nervy. gonna use it for bad. Yeah, things. I get really nervy for it to getting into the wrong hands yeah. or like it just becoming too intelligent. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, scary. Scary. On that note, what does Wi-Fi stand for? What do you think it stands for? I actually know this. Um, what? I actually do know this. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I do. Um, cause we, me and Farzad had this conversation like a while back. Okay. It's like wire. I know it's wireless, and it, the second word is really weird. It's like fidelity or fatal fidelity fidelity it's yeah it's something really random it's Um, like wireless fidelity i think no there's actually fidelity no there's actually no meaning for wi-fi what it's just called wi-fi and there's no like rhyme or reason behind it no i swear there's a reason that it's called (laughs) wi-fi i was literally looking at like fun facts and like bat was talking to me about it he's like there's no like reason for wi-fi no, like but it's, it's Wi-Fi. Wi- the, Wi-Fi oh, no, is wireless. No. Okay, wait. Wireless. This is how I remember. This is how I know what it is. It was in the Netflix trivia. <gasps> it was in the Netflix trivia. It's like, what does Wi-Fi stand for? And it gave different things. And it's like, it doesn't stand for anything. And the Netflix what? trivia, it's all coming back what to me now. What does said Wi-Fi it doesn't stand, for, anything. stand for? Wireless fidelity. Okay, well, then that's new. <laughs> that's from 2023. Okay, well, that's new. Because Netflix trivia said doesn't stand for anything. That's I remember, dude, now it's all coming back to me. I remember the- writing this down in the middle of trivia, being like, I have to put that on the pod. That's so random, though. But why? what is the fidelity part? That's what I don't remember. Fidelity means like, well, I don't, infidelity. So fidelity yeah. is the obvi- ob- opposite of why is that. it fidelity? Okay, someone needs to tell Wi-Fi- us. Oh, look at this. Wi-Fi definition names and facts. Wi-Fi is not an abbreviation for wireless fidelity. Fidelity. The name was created by a marketing firm hired by WEC by W E C A and chosen for its pleasing sound. Uh-huh. So someone's lying to us. Okay, if you know what Wi Fi stands for and if the, you know the history, can you let us know? Because this is confusing. Maybe they finally decided to make it stand for that, but it's saying here it's not. Yeah, it's not that's it. weird. It's like the um, what was the other thing that we found that was like a marketing scam? Ugh, it was what one was of the it? things we talked about on the pod. I can't remember now, but there was another thing that we talked about on the pod where it was also just like a marketing okay. ploy. I can't remember what it was now. True. Oh, well. Trivia, man. Trivia will get you. These are these random facts where I'm like, how does anyone know these things? I was like, there's no way you know it because there's nothing to know. <laughs> um, anyway, okay. Speaking of our trip, did you unpack right away? Or oh did my you God, wait? no. No. Okay, so I'm usually the type that will unpack as yeah. soon as I get home. But we got home. We had the different flights, but I got home in the middle of the night. It was like 3 a.m. Yeah, by the time home. you were home, it was very late. So I was like, this late. is just not going to happen. And then the next day, I was like, nope. <laughs> yeah, you got it done dirty with yeah. a six-hour layover in Toronto. Yeah, that was it was up. not good. It was not good. <laughs> that was so rude. <laughs> so I was like, this is, I need... A, and after that week of drinking, I was like, I need literally three weeks to recover from this yeah. trip because... Yeah, that's nuts. why we couldn't talk about it for so long. We had to recover. <laughs> we're still, we were still uh, scarred from it. But yeah, what about you? Do you usually I, unpack right away? I usually do. I, this one I unpacked the next day. Like, okay. I didn't unpack right when I got home. I didn't get as home as late as you. But it was just like such a big travel day. Like, I was just like yeah. mad at my suitcase. I'm like, I don't want to go near you. I don't want to open you. Like, you're dead to me right now. Like. I'll see you in the morning. I find unpacking is just so dreadful because I'm like, packing is fun. You're excited yes. to do it. Unpacking, you're like, and then I feel like I want to organize everything. Yeah. And most of I it's go- laundry. Most of it's laundry. And I was like, I felt like I was doing laundry for days. Literally days. So, ugh, yeah. We should have just gone to our butler to do it when we were there. He probably <laughs> could have done it. Literally. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I have a funny server story I wanted to share okay. because. It was one of those moments where I was just like, what is going on? I was serving this woman and I think it was her daughter. So this woman was probably like in her like 
40s or 50s and her daughter was probably like around our age and they wanted to get two different things that one of them wanted to get like chicken tenders and one of them wanted to get some other meal but they also wanted to get onion rings okay. so she's like we're gonna get a basket of onion rings at the start and then i'm gonna get this with fries and she's gonna get that with fries and i'm like okay sounds good she's like but wait do you think that's too much food are we gonna be able to eat all of that i'm like well it depends how hungry you are but if you don't want to get like the basket of onion rings why don't one of you just upgrade your sides to the onion rings and you can just share your fries and your onion rings yeah and she's like oh that's such a great idea let's do that i'm like amazing i'm so happy to have helped you they get their food they eat it everything's great they get their bill and then she sees that the onion ring was a five dollar upgrade and she's like why am i paying five dollars for this i'm like oh well you asked for onion rings so you got like the upgrade she's like well i didn't know it was an upgrade I was like, well, yeah, like I, I said it was an upgrade and so you have to pay for the upgrade and you said you wanted onion rings. She's like, well, no, I, I didn't want onion rings if that badly. If I knew there was a $5 charge, I wouldn't have got them. I'm like, but wait, you were going to order, order the basket. basket. Isn't the no, basket Exactly. More? And normally, you know, sometimes you're like, should I just like let this go or should I like call her out? And I'm like, no, I'm calling her out because I'm feeling saucy today. Yeah. I was like, no, you actually really wanted onion rings. And you told me at the beginning you wanted a basket. I actually saved your ass like $7. <laughs> I didn't say that part, but I was like, I actually, you actually saved money this way. And she was like, oh, well. I didn't want the upgrade. I'm like, I'm so confused right now. And I was like, okay. Anyway, she didn't tip me. I was like, whatever. Like oh, for five dollars. So dude. annoying. Oh I was like, God. I saved you money, and now I'm paying for you to be here because I have to yeah. tip out on your fucking oh, meal. My God, people are just. So people should not be allowed out at restaurants. No, and also just like just read read the menu. Like it clearly probably said that you, if you get a different. Side. Oh, it does. And also like, have you, you heard the word it. upgrade? you're upgrade. paying for it yeah. it's not like oh you can switch it for this it's like upgrade upgrade your fries yeah oh God, super people. size upgrade sometimes like, you're like the customers are always right but you're like i'm like you were wrong that time you were freaking wrong <laughs> be nice to your servers guys yeah. that's like ridiculous i hate that me too um have you okay speaking of like food and stuff have you watched the show beef I... which has nothing to do with beef but it's <laughs> <laughs> interesting name so matt started watching this a little while ago and he kept having it on and, and he's like yo this show so good like come watch it i'm like well you already started it so i can't watch it but anyway so he's all caught up he's finished it i think even and i was like okay i want to start watching it so we watched the first episode together okay. we watched it again and i watched for the first time yesterday and he's loving watching it for a second time so far he's like i've already am noticing so many things okay. again but i really like it so far i've only seen one episode it's definitely gives white lotus vibes yep it's like, so it's yeah i've seen three episodes ali wong's in it which who's a I comedian love. she's I've, so funny i need to see her stand up i've never watched it she's so different in this and i think maybe because i've seen her in stand up it's it's hard for me to take her seriously okay. because I just know like you know I've seen all like. of her stand-ups and I'm okay. like hey you know when you know like the person and then you can't unsee like you mm -hmm. just see the person yes. act trying to act not okay. just like the actor I'm glad I haven't seen her stand-up because from my perspective I think she's a really good actress so she's I think she is too I just for me I think I'm just having a hard time like switching off the She's a comedian yeah. that I've seen all You're her like, stuff. When are you gonna say something? Yeah. Funny? <laughs> when <laughs> are you gonna make me laugh? Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> she's being serious. I'm like, this is all a joke, You're right? Like, oh, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. So yeah. So um, so far I think it's good. Um, there's definitely parts where I'm like, what? What's going on? So I have yeah. to like go back a bit. Okay. So I That's can probably see why, why like Matt seeing it the second mm -hmm. time would make it would make sense because yeah, I felt like some of the parts I'm like. I, maybe I wasn't paying good enough attention. I'm like, wait, what's happening? I have yeah. to like kind of figure it out. There's so. even one part he said out loud. He's like, oh, this makes so much more sense now. I'm like, what? And he's like, oh, never mind. And I'm like, oh, like I wonder. I can't wait to find out what you're referring what? to later yeah. on. So definitely gonna keep watching it. Um, it's a cool concept for a show if you haven't seen it. It's literally this guy who's like a contractor whose life is kind of like in shits, mm -hmm. and then this woman who has her life together but it seems like something's missing in her life and then they end up having this beef they like wor worlds collide and they have this Literally beef. beef that goes on throughout the show and things just kind of unravel and yeah that's all you have to say like yeah. it's it's honestly guys check it out it's i really like it it's so a really far. cool concept and honestly it's nice having like a show where the minorities are represented like there's all asians mm -hmm. in it which i love yeah, and they're all killing it and yeah, so definitely going to keep watching it. Um, yeah. What else? We're not really watching anything else, but we did want to talk a little bit about some health and well, and then yeah. maybe we can end with a bang, Mary kill. Let's do it. I, I feel like I haven't 
dabbled in health and wellness in a little so while. we have just been drinking. Yeah. <laughs> um, one thing I wanted to talk about, and I think it's really important sometimes to kind of remind ourselves that let's say you go out one night and the next morning you have a little bit of anxiety because you're like, did I say the wrong thing? 100% did I do there. something weird? Did I say something stupid? I think it's sometimes really important to just remember that no one's thinking about you and mm. no one it cares that much about what you're doing. They care more about themselves and everyone's a little self-centered and we just always have to kind of remind ourselves that, about that. That is so true. Yeah. And I feel like everyone needs to hear that again because sometimes you just think the world revolves around you and everyone's looking at you and no one is. No one's thinking no about one you. Is. And that's a good thing. In a good, in a good in way. In a good way. In yeah. a good way. Like it's not that deep. Like literally like the silly saying like dance like no one's watching like actually literally. and like literally that was like when we were at standard a few weeks ago when you weren't there but like hannah was dancing like really like sillyly and at first i was like oh like hannah like no and i'm like no i'm gonna dance like this too like who the fuck cares, who cares? like just dance just have fun no one's watching you no one's watching <laughs> you no one cares the next morning no one's even thinking about it they're only thinking about themselves yeah and their own lives and like did so. you have fun yes yeah so just leave it at that yeah 100 percent. 100 percent. i love I that think grounds you um should we talk about how health and wellness shots can be doubled as flasks dude shout out to ria for that ria literally a caribou cup we forgot to mention this last time but she had filled you know those little ginger shots that you can get at like pure kitchen mm, or delicious. whatever you can also empty those out, those little containers, and fill them up with vodka or tequila yeah, or whatever, whatever you like. Pick your poison. Yeah. Um, might do that this summer. <laughs> On, in this economy? <laughs> in this economy, I might need a little wellness shot. <laughs> Not gonna might, lie. Might need a little pick me up. Yeah. So, yeah, she was so funny. She was like, guys, look at this. She like had them all like lined up in her like pockets. I'm like, so smart. So smart. Yeah. I yeah, love you can that. Just like toss it after and you don't have to feel bad if you lose your flask. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. Um, okay, so like yesterday I was obviously meal prepping for the week and I just feel like I'm in a bit of a slump with meal prep because I always do kind of the same like four or five things so I just rotate them every week I just want to know like what are your favorite things what do you meal prep you're at home yeah, yeah you still meal prep no I still meal prep yeah, so because like, what are you meal prepping like what do you love okay I need some inspiration okay so typically I do one cold dish and one hot dish for oh. the week so that I can like usually have a cold dish during lunch and then a hot dish at dinner okay so I usually mix it up so th this week I did I usually do like a quinoa salad of some sorts mm -hmm. so you can add any vegetables that you have i usually do like cucumber tomato bell pepper onions um, just with quinoa quinoa okay. and then feta and then i do like oh. some kind of dressing like an olive yeah. oil um, lemon juice kind of okay. dressing and then like a lot of like um, parsley and stuff but honestly mm -hmm. you can just like mix it up like sometimes i'll add chickpeas in there yeah okay. i'll add lentils like whatever you have yes. kind of thing so i'll do that my other cold dish that i sometimes do is like a pasta salad just like something it's similar but with pasta instead of quinoa okay and you just like boil pasta and then like and then let it cool let it and then cool. you just like get all your vegetables together okay. and then you just like mix it up with um i do like a greek yogurt with a little bit of mayo mm. so that it's like a little bit healthier yeah and then dill like a ton of dill yes. it makes it really yummy yeah oh my so god that's like i'm already one. inspired yeah so that's like two that i like have on my rotating i just like it's easy and yeah you get to use all your produce which is nice yeah okay. and then i'll usually my hot dishes i'll like switch it up so Sometimes I'll do rice and like some kind of curries, like butter chicken or, mm. or vindaloo or something like that. Yes. Um, I'll also do like pasta of some sort. Like this week I made like a bolognese, like sauce pasta. Um, what else? Just like kind of like mixing it up. Sometimes honestly, we'll just like meal prep burgers. Like I'll like, oh, like cook I'll a, cook them. I'll cook them. So they're and just then ready. They're just ready to go. So you can either just put them in a bowl put or in a bowl a... eat it with like rice or whatever the heck or you yeah. can like actually toast a bun and okay. have a burger wow yeah see i think where i went wrong with my meal prep lately is it was too like hot meal focused so okay. i think i'm just like i need some cold meals to interchange it because i'm doing like lasagnas and i'm doing like turkey bowls or like stir fries and like everything is like hot and especially now that it's starting to get hotter yes like i don't want to be eating hot meals for lunch and dinner so i need to alternate that alternate and it. i never i've never made a quinoa salad i've never yeah. made a pasta salad okay i never made that before okay i'll send you i do like salads which is boring as hell <laughs> like you can i mean you can make them good but like you need to versatile versatile it yeah yeah versatility yeah. versatile Versi 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 <laughs> Versi <laughs> english is hard yeah <laughs> I'm like yeah that sounds right Versi 
Ver, uh, Ver, Ver, <laughs> I was about to say Verity, but that's the book. Ver- oh my god, I'll tell you about Verity all day, all night, guys. Hey guys, if you need a book to read, read Holy Verity because that frick. I've that. never talked about it, guys. But I'm almost. I'm literally. This is the fastest I've read a book. I have like a couple of chapters left. It's insane. I need a new like fiction book. I'm reading like psycho the psychology of money right now, Ooh. and it's really good. But I just need like more of like a fiction, something lighter. Yeah, yeah, more fun. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay, that was good. Yeah. I think it's a meal prep. We should ask the Saturdays what they're meal prepping. It's nice I'm to gonna, hear what yes. other people are doing. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Hannah sent me this TikTok, and I really want to do it. Like, it was a girls' night idea that you just <gasps> take like like a cookbook of any sorts and then you like flip to a page and you decide as a girl's night to make that oh. recipe and then everyone brings like items okay and you, you make, make it you make it and she's like That's so you, cute like every girl's night they're, they were just like making a new recipe from the, that cookbook oh, i love that i, I think that's we such a cute that. like little fun idea and it's and it's also potluck style in a sense that you everyone brings like yeah ingredients. it's even easier just an yeah. ingredient and you just an make it together yeah cute so love that yeah. all right let's end with a bang mirror kill i'm gonna give you one this time Ooh. it's gonna be desserts because we're talking about food a lot ah, okay. okay pie cheesecake ice cream oh i love all three okay i think i know what i'm marrying i just love cheesecake mm because like new york style or like a chocolate cheesecake honestly i I don't discriminate any cheesecake you're marrying it (laughs) (laughs) i'm just gonna eat you up Mm. cheesecake i'm gonna marry oh i love ice cream but i yeah i'll probably bang ice cream kill pie Mm -hmm. i feel like what's pie with ice cream yeah i just i like uh yeah i like ice cream on a cold in a hot day like a cold ice cream it's just nice Okay. Yeah, I think that's what I'm doing. I'm similar to you, but a little bit reverse. I'm going to marry ice cream. Okay. Because I feel like I eat it all the time. Like, I don't remember last time I had a cheesecake. Like, I literally got a McFlurry yesterday. Like, I I can't go like a week without eating some ice cream. But I do love cheesecake. Such a nice little treat. So I'm going to bang that. And then pie, mm, I could probably do without. I do love strawberry rhubarb pie. I love strawberry rhubarb pie. But I love it with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. So yeah yeah it's sad but we're gonna have to kill it yeah we don't need pie (laughs) and we can have strawberry rhubarb cheesecake oh yeah (laughs) that That sounds good and probably strawberry rhubarb ice cream exists yeah so fuck that okay we're good we're good good about that decision (laughs) oh i was stressful now i just want some ice cream i know i'm hungry after all that food talk (laughs) okay guys guys. thanks for joining us i don't know what episode this is we lost count Almost 40. Yeah. I feel like we're also like slowly creeping up to our one year, which is really crazy. (gasps) Sometime in August. Should we have a birthday party for the pod and just like decorate Um, like only the Saturday bays will come. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, we love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, Always a good time. Yeah, we'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.